Hey guys, you have waited patiently for these. Here are my predictions for the Edexcel 2017 C2 paper. I am just a teacher. I am not an examiner. I do not have any inside knowledge. I do not know any secrets. So I do not know for definite what is going to come up on these exams. What I have done is looked at the past papers, looked at the examiner's reports, looked at the specification and tried to make educated guesses, sensible decisions about what I think is going to come up. So this is it. But please, please, please provide absolutely everything for me. So I think this year's harder questions are going to be on things like ionic formula, on flame tests, and I think groups. This is the big topic I think this year's hard questions are going to be on. I think there are going to be lots of tricky questions on observations and experimental skills. So you might be given a graph, you might be asked to look at the graph, read off the graph, or even draw a line best fit on the graph. And then maybe even like, what do you predict would happen? An absolute essential for C2 is atomic structure. So we are talking um, mass number, we're talking location and charges of some atomic particles. We're talking um, isotopes, electron configuration, all of these are really, really important because these are an absolute staple of the C2 paper. Another absolute staple of the C2 paper is bonding, ionic and covalent bonding. Now, last year there wasn't any drawing, so I think drawing is going to be something they're going to ask you to do this year. So it's really, really important to know your properties or your differences and to not get them confused because it's quite easy to get to the different types of bonding confused but they are very, very different. So it's really important for such a core, core topic in C2 that you have this sorted. And that you are able to draw a range of things because there's been a creeping trend in making exam papers harder and throwing in some really nasty things for you to draw. Last year they only asked a little bit about collision theory and rates of reaction. So they could ask you much, much more about it on this year's paper. Now you can prepare lovely, lovely answers for this in advance and it is well, well worth doing that for your C2 paper. And then the last thing um, that we know is going to come up a lot is math skills. This is a big, big chunk in here. So obviously we are talking about balancing equations. You have to have to have to be able to balance equations. Working out the MR, the relative mass of a compound, is also so important because it comes up in so many different places. Last year they asked a couple of big maths questions. They asked about both empirical formula and reacting masses. So this year I think they're only going to ask about one of them, but I don't really know which one. Personally, my favourite is empirical formula but that doesn't mean that's what the examiners are gonna ask about, unfortunately. Um, so there we go, guys. Atomic structure, bonding, lots and lots of math skills, prepare your answer for rates of reaction, and hopefully the examiners will be nice to us since this is the last year for this paper. And um, please, please, please revise absolutely everything that you can. Um, I do not definitely know what is going to come up on the exam papers, so don't just um, revise the stuff that I say in here, revise absolutely everything. Good luck guys, and if there's anything I can do to help you, just ask.